Does anybody know uh, uh, two of the oldest uh, standing houses in Chester? Jim, I wonder if anyone from our studio audience would. Tother End. Did I hear it? Tother End? On Pig Loop Road, correct? At the very, very end of the road. The other one's maybe a bit more of a mystery. It was recently moved, well, recently. It was moved a number of years ago around the corner. Yeah. Somewhere it is now. It was a Schneider restaurant. Right. Now owned by uh, uh, Julia Carroll and Craig right? Yeah. On Duke and Union. Yeah. So, so uh, let's see who are these two. Oh, yes, yes, indeed. You've heard of the two Ronnies. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the two Johnnies. <laughs> I love writing that. <laughs> so, John Wister Wurtz Jr. Wurtz. Wurtz. Is the Wurtz. grandson of Charles Stuart Wurtz and Elizabeth Bessie Witz Wister, of which she had two sisters, Sarah, Danny Blaine's grandmother, and Margaret Meggs, who left Chester many years ago. John's family has been coming to Chester from Philadelphia for generations. Sailing upon the Hayseed, among others, and you've seen several movies, in fact, of her this evening and often gathering with friends to tell stories, sing songs, play music, and sometimes write limericks. <laughs> <laughs> Such as the ones here we go. <laughs> you're about to hear. He has solicited the support of Dr. John Curry, a former Commodore of the CYC, and himself an avid sailor. Together, they might remind you of some of the old boats and their crew. <laughs> <laughs> He's John Wurtz. <laughs> He's John Curry. <laughs> My father's uncle, Ross Faulkner, came to Chester in 1904 as a newly admitted graduate of Dalhousie Medical School to work as a track physician on the Halifax and Southwestern Railway for laying track down here. He was mentored in those days by Dr. John Kenny, who later became the first president of the American College of Surgeons and whose descendants still have that lovely little island in the back harbor. I'm a descendant of the infamous Worcester sisters. <laughs> Bessie Wartz <laughs> and Sarah Starr. My grandpa, uh, my grandmother was Bessie Wartz and uh, she came from Philadelphia in about 1880. And my son Tupper is the fourth generation. He's got kids. That makes five generations of Wartz. In 1955 or 1956, we broke up. Yeah, we get into the off club dance. We wrote these lyrics freelance. Free lyrics. <laughs> and in the time, time, we, we did, did the kick off and, and sang these stories, stories by chance. chance. <laughs> the early was the Overby schooner and was sailed by Will Overby Creighton who it seemed to us kids was perpetually pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> the air date is really quite droll. A board is a stowaway stow. We'll give you a clue. There's another one too. <laughs> and the skipper's a lady in bold. And we don't know if that was Andrew or Carol or David or Julia, or Kirsty, or Zoe. I can't believe we wrote this stuff. Uh, the first day of race week in 1954, there was a terrible thunderstorm, and Lyndon uh, was struck by lightning. Mrs. Uh, McCullough was in the head. <laughs> so here's the limerick. <laughs> Take your time for a minute to speak of a highly charged linen. <laughs> With all copper crapper and skipper most dapper, the fair wind has lightning rods in it. <laughs> in the mid-1950s, Jimmy Grove sold the high tide to Wilson McNeely and bought landfall from Henry Nibbins' estate. Around that time, Mike Dwyer sold Atlanta to Buddy Dayton, John Wirtz's cousin, and bought Bellina. He and his wife Peggy, later St. George, sailed for many years around Mahone Bay. 
As the landfall passed the Bellini, the former skipper was Sini. <laughs> As below decks he dove, that fearless Jim Grove reappeared with a double martini. <laughs> Aboard Hazy, women are few. None of her gear is near or new. Her hull is a classic, her beauty fantastic with a virgin Corinthian crew. I can vouch for the Corinthian part. <laughs> Logan Blaine was Travis and Stacy and Forbes' grandmother, and her cousin Liz was Stuart Spar's mom, and John Wirtz's his aunt. You recall the first mother's race? Uh, were we supposed to do this together? Yes. Do you recall the first mother's race? When Logan, when Logan and Liz, Liz set, set the, the pace, pace round the buoys they flew, as, as the wind, wind grew and grew, till they, they sank not to, to finish or place. Or place. <laughs> true story. All of it's true. All of it's true. I trust the idiots. We asked to talk of, of the past. past. We, we knew you'd all be aghast. It was, it was so long ago. ago not many will know that the things we thought were a blast. <laughs>